Welcome back to Cursed Mining and first of all, this is a Christmas holiday episode kinda, but I personally don't really celebrate, so I just wish all the best to you guys and your families, however you spend it. I will just try to work on as much content as I can. So this is just a normal episode, but we will have a second one this week as well. Today we have yet another PC build. These are becoming more common on the channel lately, but we are just in great times to build computers. Also, I am very proud that the people in my surroundings are turning to me for their space stations. Building fun and content, I really can't complain. In this video, we are building a budget-friendly workstation for a DJ and producer who also does a lot of crypto trading. So crypto and music, perfect for this channel. The budget was set to up to 1000 euro and even with adding some blink for him we managed to stay in budget but more on that later so let's go for someone who uses a lot of digital instruments we need some cores so for this reason we went for a ryzen 2600 no need to necessarily go for the third generation ryzen the prices on the second one are just too good to pass up so you can get six cores and 12 threads for around 110 bucks if you're lucky the motherboard is Gigabyte Aorus this time. Firstly, to change up the themes of the PCs featured on the channel. Secondly, that with B450 boards you can really find some sweet deals right now as well. So if you're not looking for a specific brand, keep your eyes open for deals. Here we have two M.2 slots with heat sinks, which are nice to have for upgradability. To give him more crunch, we'll overclock the system later. Therefore, we dropped some money on the beautiful Noctua NHU12S. Silent, black and powerful. We'll talk more about the overclock in the end. Also, for digital audio workstations, more RAM than the typical gaming system are needed. So instead of 16 gig, we went for 32 gig or 32 megahertz RAM. This will hopefully let you run as many plugins and digital sound libraries as you like. No bling here, rather the most used RAM on this channel until now. Corsair Vengeance. Storage wise, we are using M.2 as well as a classical hard drive. The M.2, crucial this time, will be the boot drive as well as the place for the audio software itself and the project he is currently working on. Things like that seem like little gimmicks but speed up workflow immensely. By the way, in the past I've often removed the stickers from M.2 drives when using heatsinks, but this time I read up on it and saw that many people claim that they act as heat spreaders themselves. How do you guys treat that? Therefore, I left it as it is this time. The big 4TB hard drive is for mid and long term storage of audio projects or libraries. That is the same setup I've used for a long time in my own audio PC. So let's fiddle it into the case. Here let me say that if my friend would be working a lot with acoustic instruments, this means recording with microphones, we would have gone for a more subtle case and for more silence. But we are talking about the digital producer, so he also wanted some fanciness to display and there's absolutely nothing against it. In terms of case, we have the same case we used in the 3700X build, just this time with a side window. It's the Fractal Design Meshify C. Fractal cases are always a bit more expensive from my experience, but they are really a joy to work in. Adding to that, we have some generic RGB fans with included controller and remote you can find on Amazon to spice things up. I only had to move the hard drive cage a little bit for the third fan in front to mount. So after working everything into the case, let's talk GPU. For an audio PC, even integrated graphics are okay, but Ryzen, at least this one, doesn't have any. So normally one would go for the smallest possible GPU, maybe even passively cooled for silence. But as mentioned, noise is no problem and also we want to still give him the possibility to use his PC for more than just his regular work. For that reason, we went with an RX 580 8GB fitting Gigabyte Aorus card. Buying a new GPU for Full HD gaming would have gotten us over the budget, but he had no problem with buying a used GPU from me I wanted to sell anyway. And this for a price he would not have gotten even a 1650, so I'd say a fair deal for both. 
After some cable management, it's time for the software. We only later thought that we could have built him a Hackintosh, since he always produced with a MacBook before, but he ultimately wanted to go for Win 10. So installing everything, drivers and blah. But lastly, I want to talk about the overclock. Thanks to the motherboard, headroom in PSU and of course our beefy Noctua cooler, I initially bumped it to 4GHz and stress tested it a little bit. Stays absolutely quiet and cool under load. Gaming and production wise, I hope you excuse me that I don't include any benchmarks. There are many great channels like Gamers Nexus and others who do these tests far more professionally than I ever could. So I stay with what I know you folks like, building, crypto mining and funny camera work. Coming from a 2015 MacBook with two cores, you can imagine how he feels now making his music. He already told me that suddenly his projects have gotten much much larger. That's already it, an all-round workstation or gaming PC under 1000 euro for a DJ and producer with a bit of bling and luxury where needed or even where not needed. Last but not least, I've heard you with the last PC build that you like pure montage videos as well. So there might be another little surprise upcoming this week. Tell me what you like better, discussion first or pure build montage first. Also let me know what you think or if you have any questions. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye.